What's going on everybody? Hope you're all staying healthy and having a great day. So it seems to be that this uh, little configuration we came up with is doing all right. It's been a few days since I did it and um, yeah, I can, I, honestly I'm impressed. It's 87 degrees. These fans are feeling, uh, you know, they're all pushing the heat away. Except for that one. All right, well, huh, that's a surprise. So all the temperatures in Hive OS are okay for all these cards and rigs. I've always had issues with this 5700 right here overheating. And apparently the big box fan behind that one is dead because it is 100% plugged in. That was working when I left, that's weird. Oh, it looks like I gotta pull this away. Uh, good thing I didn't see all this along the wall yet because I wasn't expecting to have to pull this out. Right, let's get back here. So you can see the fans plugged in right there. And I know that outlet's working because everything else is working. Huh, we have a dead fan. Well, it's a good thing I saved two box fans from uh, doing this redesign. Usually when a fan goes, it could just be this fuse that's, if you can see that, there's a little fuse in there. Maybe I just need to get a new one. Who knows, it's a little weird. I've never had a fuse blow on a fan, but Obviously it's possible. So what I'm gonna do right now is take this guy and put it down below, right behind this rig. Let me push this all back now that I got that fan replaced. Oh, geez. Whew. All right. So I got this just chilling in there at an angle kind of pressing the cardboard against the side to hold the uh all the wind from to come out towards us so now i gotta replace the fan that i just removed from there so i'm gonna stick this fan i actually like being uniform anyways so i'm sticking this fan same exact fan as that one right here on this shelf All right, so apparently that's what happens when you have a bum fan. You just uh, roll with the punches and you gotta replace it. All the other fans are working great. I'm just double checking, making sure everything else is working fine. Now that we took care of that bum fan, I guess uh, I'll just have to figure that one out. Check the fuse on it, but at least I have one more replacement if anything like that happens again. So the main reason I came here, it wasn't obviously to replace the fan because all the temperatures were fine. I had no idea there was even an issue. It's actually got me thinking. I was reading the comments and I was responding to a couple people that are clearly smarter than me when it comes to air movement. So they were saying that you don't need the intake fans. Basically just take them out because they're useless. So. I kind of want to test this out. I kind of want to remove the fans and I want to see if just having this small exhaust fan and that massive one in my main part of the garage, if they're actually the only ones I really need. So I guess let's see. So right now, okay, fans are all on. I got six fans. I have it all boxed off like I showed you guys. Uh, just temporarily I wanted to kind of make it like a direct wind tunnel so it was all forced to come through these rigs. I haven't properly sealed it on the edges yet like with tape or 2x4 or anything like that. I kind of just jammed it against it, pinched it against with the ladder and with a piece of T-slot extrusion there and I put all these mining rigs on top just to hold down the cardboard. So I want to see right now if the temperature changes. 
88.9 as you guys can see so let's shut off these fans just for the hell of it i'm gonna shut them off i want to see what happens i want to see if that temperature goes up or if it goes down if that temperature starts going down i'm taking this uh i'm taking these fans out and I'm gonna roll with it without the fans. For one, it's gonna save me electricity costs because I'm not running six box fans. Two, the noise, because obviously having all the fans on is a huge pain in the butt when I'm trying to record. It's super loud. I mean, it's, it's probably not as loud for you guys because the wind muff on here, but it's still pretty loud. And uh, three, it actually gives me more space to push this rack back because having the fans directly behind the cards kind of the fans almost hit the wall, so they're pretty close to the wall anyway, so I don't really know how much they're exactly doing. So let's uh, let's see. I, I really hope that you guys are smarter than me because it's gonna save me some money. So let's, uh, let's hope for that. All right, so all these fans have been off roughly 10 minutes or so. As you can see, these fans are still spinning from the actual draft of the air coming in. But this thing, if you look at the temperature here, this was going from 88.7 to 88.5. So it was actually dropping a little bit, but now it's back at 88.7. So I'm kind of indifferent about this situation right now. What I think I'm going to do is fully remove the fans because I want to see just for the hell of it, if taking all six of these fans out away from the air intakes helps because right now they're probably blocking some of the clean airflow coming through obviously because it's hitting the fan the, the back of the fans rather instead of coming directly through and hitting the rig so let's do that i'm going to pull this rack out i'm going to get all these fans disconnected and out from behind here i'll push this entire rack back and we'll give it another 10 minutes or so fans are all removed I can feel a real nice breeze coming through here with just, like I said, that exhaust fan and the big one in the garage. So hopefully this actually works well. And uh, thank you to you guys in the comments for actually saying something to me. Cause to be honest, I'm not an expert. I'm just the guy on YouTube sharing my journey of doing all this with you guys. So any pointers I get, I actually do consider. And I don't try to argue with something that i'm really not too sure about i'm just trying to tell you guys exactly what i'm doing and why i'm doing it so thank you whoever said to uh remove these because it seems to be working fairly well the only thing i want to do is basically shut down this rig because i can feel a real nice cold breeze coming across these back cards and i have an issue with this 5700 this gets so hot I want to take this and put it right here because I have one extra space right here and I'm going to do the same thing for this 5700 Sapphire Nitro. I want to take that and put that right here on the end as well. I really think that will help this rig stay a lot more stable and much more cool. So I'm going to do that right now. Let's shut this one down. Um, I'm actually going to go on my phone. I'm going to stop the miner first. And then, I mean, like I said, my take on this entire situation not having fans for one i'm saving a bunch of electricity not running six box fans i had one extra and that one's dead so i did have currently eight running prior to doing all of this but now understanding a little better that the exhaust is what really matters it's not the intake the intake can just be open vents like this i'm super excited actually it's passing nice cool breeze right behind each one of these rigs so that's uh that's huge that's huge i'm just i'm sorry i'm trying to wrap my mind around this it's like it literally is blowing my mind that this is working this well the temperature is up because i actually removed the rack from the wall so the breeze was not isolated in this box anymore so you guys are going to see this 5700 XT Sapphire Nitro and that 5700 over here in a flash. There it is. 5700 Sapphire Nitro on the left side as well as the 5700 XT Mech. So the breeze coming through here is like fantastic. 
So obviously not having the 5700 over there will keep it a lot cooler because it's directly in front of the air vent. So that's, you know, for one huge. Now, I guess I'm just gonna monitor this. I wanna see, I wanna see what the temperatures look like on these cards. Cause that card is always like 90 C, it's ridiculous. These right here feel all nice and cool as well. I'm just gonna slide them all over. All right, so I'm really hoping that solves my problem, guys. And uh, yeah, let's let these run for a little bit. I wanna see what the uh, temperature gets to. It's getting a little hotter outside. The sun's actually coming out now. It was raining this morning. So 89.4, like I said, the temperature rose when I, uh, for one, removed all the fans because I had to pull this away from the wall to be able to get them all out and then I pushed it all back. So that temperature really hasn't changed much since I pushed it back. I think it's just holding steady at the 90 degrees, but what is an issue is this rig shutting down the way it just did, because that's not okay. So it looks like I'm gonna have to do some work on this rig right now. Apparently the miner just restarted probably because one of the cars were overheating. But yeah, we're gonna save that, situating those for another day. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Is that a good move, removing these fans? Or do you think I should at least put two on the bottom? I feel like that's what I'm thinking because the air is coming up at an angle. So it's kind of, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if these things are gonna get too hot or not, but they, they're pumping out heat right here. I can feel a decent amount of heat coming off the cards, but obviously it's cause the cold air is obviously replacing the hot air coming past, but there's also a lot of cold air coming up at an angle right here that I can feel. And it's not from that one, cause that one's right here. I can feel it pumping up a little higher and the air right here is coming from that one. So. I may put a box fan on the ground there and on the ground there just to help the air come in on the bottom and come across like the trip light PDU and the two rigs down low. But yeah, just keep me posted. Let me know what you guys think. I really appreciate you guys for watching. Please stay safe and I'll see you guys next time.